Dad killed the boogeyman. Get in there, come on, Tommy. Now lock the door! What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name's Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions, you guys. We got some more news castings for Halloween Kills, which hits theaters October 16th, 2020. I'm so excited, you guys. I cannot wait for this next Halloween film. Where are they taking this story? How did Michael survive? All these returning characters. It's just, it's, it's shaping up. Get it? Shaping? The shape? <laughs> it's shaping up to be pretty damn epic, if you ask me. And I cannot wait. But ever since the announcement of Anthony Michael Hall coming in as playing an older version of Tommy Doyle, Kyle Richards coming in as Lizzie Wallace, Jamie Lee Curtis returning as Laurie Strode, Gary, uh, not Gary, um, Judy Greer coming back as Karen. This casting announcement is just, it's crazy. Robert Longstreet coming in playing Lonnie Lamb from the original Halloween in 1978. His son was also in Halloween 2018. I didn't catch that reference until a couple fucking weeks ago, I'll be honest with you. I was like, what? I was like, so that's his son. Oh! Completely flew over my head. Did not, did not see that. I mean, I'm kind of bummed I didn't see that. Now, obviously, you have Nick Castle coming back as The Shape. I cannot wait to see him. Um, but this one is very interesting to me, you guys. Nancy Stevens. Nancy Stevens was the nurse. Nurse Marion. In Halloween 1978. And then she was also in Halloween 2. Then she was also in Halloween H2O. When she was killed off in the beginning of the movie. In her own house. Right, Michael? Invades her house, steals a couple papers, trying to find Lori, kills um um oh my god, what's that dude's name? Oh my god, he was he was much younger in that film. One of his first films. I completely forgot his name. Oh my god, he was in the Dark Knight Rises. 50-50. It's flying over my head. I, I it's not clicking right now. Um but yeah, she was uh, she was in three Halloween films. But she's returning for Halloween kills. I was like, holy shit, like they're going all out getting all of these returning actors and actresses from the original 78 film. And that's just so crazy to me. Like, it's going to be one huge reunion. I can't imagine what it's going to feel like on set. Like, that's going to be so fun to see. I hope to see a bunch of great special futures for this Halloween film, seeing everybody return. Like, that is so epic and awesome. Damn near 40 years ago, and they're getting all these people to come back. Halloween 2018 was such a huge success. All the actors and actresses were like, absolutely. I would down, I'm, I'm down to come back. I, I need to. Like, you know, if Jamie Lee Curtis, the star of the original, is coming back, why can't I? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, so, it's so awesome to me. And I can't wait to see all these returning characters and how all their stories, how they developed over the years and what they've gone through. You know, all the PTSD, all the trauma from the 1978 night, you know, in Haddonfield. Like, what, what was everybody going through? Like, do... Do Tommy Doyle and Lindsay Wallace still know each other? Are they still living in Haddonfield? Like, do they have family? Things like that. Like, I want to know about. I want to know about their trauma and how that night affected each and every one of them. You know, it's gonna, and I want to see the reunion between, you know, like, them and, like, Lori. Like, it's, it's, imagine, like, Lori hasn't seen them ever since that night. And, and in this next film, you get to see that reunion. Like, that would be so awesome. You know, or like, or I want to hear like the news when they find out Tommy and Lindsay when they find out that Michael came back to Haddonfield. Like, what's their initial reaction? Like, like that's what I want to see. Like, I'm so intrigued by those little small things. Like, uh, but I cannot wait. Also, this is interesting to me. On the I IMDb website, on the IMDb web, I I can't even say it. IMDb website. They have a casting on there. Charles Cipher, the original Sheriff Brackett, is also listed to be in Halloween Kills. Oh my god. They legit are grabbing everybody from that film and bringing them back. That is so epic to me. Like, dude, Sheriff Brackett's coming back? Like, that is awesome. So awesome to see. I cannot wait, you guys. But this is a spoiler. So if you don't want to hear a spoiler or anything like that, I advise you to turn it off. One, two, three. Spoiler alert. All right. I was on Twitter, and I saw set photos of Halloween kills. 
and it looks like they are doing flashback scenes to that night in 1978 of Halloween. That is awesome. That is so cool. I wanted flashbacks. I remember when they at first announced Halloween to the, uh, to, uh, to the, I can't even speak right now. Halloween 2018. I remember they first announced it. I was talking about it and I was like, well, damn, like I want, I want to see some flashbacks of that night. And like, you know, I wonder if, you know, you know, the whole flashback scene is going to be Michael just laying on the floor and then Lori going to go down there, try to finish the job. And then obviously, you know, the cops show up and then take Michael off, you know, like things like that. Like I wanted to see a flashback, but apparently John Carpenter advised against that and said, no, let's not, let's, don't do that. There's no point in that. But in this film, apparently, they are doing flashbacks. And I'm like, I'm cool with flashbacks. I love flashbacks. Who doesn't like flashbacks? You get to see the original mask. You know, it's not all aged and things like that. I'm like, that's sick. That's sick, and I cannot wait, you guys. But great casting, you guys. Everybody's returning. I'm loving it. I cannot wait. I want to see everything. I want to see Michael. I want to know everything, y'all. I'm just so thrilled and pumped for this next Halloween film. I cannot wait. Hopefully, we get a trailer by March. Yeah, by March, because they're shooting right now. I think they're on maybe on day seven or eight, something like that. So I'm pumped, you guys. And the more news I find out, I will definitely get back to you guys on it. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Nancy Stevens. Also returning for Halloween Kills. Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for watching Zero Productions. Peace.